show you that mushroom over there. That is one of Africa's delicacies lying right there. But it is also something that is quite magnificent. Let's go and have a look from a bit closer. This is the largest fungus that grows in South Africa, to my knowledge, and is so highly prized as a food item out here. Look at the size of this guy. There's my hand, just as a, as a, 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 a as a size comparison, it's probably about a hand tall by about a football width wide and just soft and fleshy, has the texture probably of a, um, of a freshly baked scone with a harder crust on the top and Africans in this area, African people in this area chop this out of the ground and then you cook it over a fire like you'd cook a steak and you eat it. And this sells on the local markets here for a couple of hundred rand, so a couple of tens of dollars uh, for one of these. And it's a very, very highly prized delicacy out here. Now you don't see these very often. They only come out with very special sort of conditions. And I think at the moment what's happened is we've had the right conditions, obviously, otherwise this mushroom wouldn't be growing over here for them to come out, the right amount of rain, the right amount of sunlight, the right amount of humidity, and this fungus pushes out this, this head from the ground. Obviously the fungus itself grows under the ground and only pushes out this fleshy head when it needs to spore. So this, the size that this mushroom is, is probably going to push out billions of spores, which will then lie dormant in the soil until the next time it's ready. Just Look at that. Now, of course, I'm not going to pick it. I want this mushroom to make as many spores and get as many spores to grow as possible. However, I think growing near to a road like this, the chance of it actually getting to a point where the spores will come out is virtually zero. We've got a lot of people that use this particular portion of uh, quarantine up and down to the Philemon's dip pump house and in and out of the reserve. And I think that this mushroom is going to be harvested pretty quick. <laughs> Oh, but isn't that fantastic to see? For the life of me, I cannot actually remember the name of this particular uh, fungus. It should be pretty easy to find online. Um, and you're welcome to share the name with me if you want, using that hashtag Safari Live, just to jog my memory banks. I see these things perhaps once every five to six years. Um, and at the time, I try and remember their names, but of course, you know, the type of memory that I have at the moment, it's amazing that I can even remember my name to say hello in the mornings to you. Anyway, we're still on our way. We haven't heard, oh, we 